this show, let's talk a little Guardians Bowl. Tristan McKenzie made his season debut last night. Not great is how I would describe it. Velocity down, gave up four earned runs, five runs in a three and a third innings. What did you make of Sticks in his debut? I didn't, I didn't like what I saw at all last night. He did not look good at all. Um, you know, when he didn't <laughs> have surgery yesterday, uh, last year, it was a, que- a big question mark. Yep. And you worried, okay, uh, maybe he's not going to be the same pitcher and maybe he'll end up having the surgery and then you lose him for 25 or for the 24 and 25 season. I don't want to go down that road that, that far. I love Tristan McKenzie. By all accounts, he's one of the most likable players in the game. But uh, that was pretty. Now, in fairness, uh, really outside of Bieber, Nobody nobody's pitched Bieber. particularly well. That's true. <laughs> uh, so far, in the starting <laughs> rotation. But I, I thought McKenzie looked pretty awful yesterday. Well, the thing, everybody knows I love Tristan McKenzie. Yeah. The reason that I was okay with them moving off Shane Bieber is because of him. I was like, you know, he is he a quite the ace? No, but he can work his way into it. He's giving me moments where I was like, that dude can develop to be an, yeah. a great ace for us. What I that that right there what he did yesterday? Yeah, I'm concerned. We might need to ex- I'm, we need to extend Shane Bieber if if McKenzie go play like well, this. that didn't happen. I no. know, but listen, it, it, <laughs> it if we want to have a run at this thing or a shot at this thing, the pitching got to get much better. I mean, Bybee, Allen, Cookie. Oh my God! I actually thought, <laughs> considering my expectations, he was fine. I, you he know, settled so, down and gave oh, him more. Carrasco. Carrasco like, settled. Down. He settled down. Man, he started off. I started terrible. off, man, but after that, he settled down. Like it's correct at this point in his career. I'll take. Right. I'll take that. Right. What do you get? Three runs. Four. Yeah. I thought it was I four. Thought it was three. I thought it was three and five I, innings, I, wasn't it? I thought it was make four. It five I thought it was three. Maybe you know what? Yeah, McKenzie gave him four. Yeah, That's McKenzie what it gave is. him four. The the concerning part with yeah. Tristan. And it's one start. Yeah, yeah it's sure. His, it's his, and not only like small sample size, it's his first start. Right. But, you know, I remember having the conversation with Zach Meisel when, when Shane's velocity dipped a couple of years ago. Yeah. You noticed it in the first start. And you thought, yep. uh-oh. Yeah. And it never, and it never went up. And with yeah, Tristan's some guys, arm, they build up yeah. and can get <laughs> yeah. better as the season goes. And with but. Tristan's elbow, you yeah. have to say, uh-oh. And, and he typically sits around 92, and last night he was barely breaking 90. Yeah. And he can't survive. That's a massive difference. It's a massive difference. Yeah. He can't survive around night. Like, that has to get better. It's, yeah. He's, he's going to have problems this year if that's where he taps out at. I think it was – I just looked it up. I think it was 90.5. He that's threw not two pitches enough. above 91 miles an hour last night. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good enough. Seattle's not a slouch team either, so – Yeah, but their lineup's just okay. I mean, outside True, of – but – Outside of Julio Rodriguez. I got like You know what? Guys. I got to see. Who, who is he uh, slotted to pitch against next? Is it the Twins? It'll be Minnesota, twins. yeah. Not, uh, I respect the Twins. I got to see them against the Twins. I got to see how they – because you got uh, – having a year off – you got to get it back. Yeah, well, right? we're going to give him plenty yeah, of time. Yeah, 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 just right. The first start was a little alarming. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't good. You know, Tanner Bybee was lousy in his first start. Yeah, he was. Uh, and I'm I have zero concern about him. Less concerned about him because he, he's not coming off an injury. Right. Yeah. It was more than the injury. I just think the velocity being that low well, but is, that's is it. a legitimate I, I'm concern. worried that the velocity is low because of the injury. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, I guess it depends. I got to see. Yeah. I got I to gotta see. Give me, like, yeah. three or four more starts. Well, I got to and then uh, Logan Allen, he was, yeah, he was ass. Yeah. He the he, he, Davis. He, he's a fourth, fifth starter yeah. in, in yeah, yeah, yeah. the majors. That's right. That's what he is. Yeah, they need Bybee and McKenzie to pitch well. When is they Gavin? Gavin when is Gavin, Gavin coming back? back? He threw a bullpen a couple of days ago, I think, Late. within the last couple of days. Yeah, probably three weeks. Uh, yeah, they got to build him up. He'll yeah. probably be back in a couple of weeks. Maybe okay. give him two starts in the minors once he's ready to go. So <laughs> I mean, Shane. How, now, how big is it that they did not trade Shane Bieber? Oh yeah, over the winter. Extend. We him. talked about yeah. that. Ain't happening. <laughs> I know, but, but please, you know, I do it. We talked about that over the winter. That I, I, the impression I was getting was that they weren't going to move him because the, they didn't want to be then in a position where you're trying to find a Shane Bieber at the trade deadline Damn and man. you're paying three x the price for you right. got in the return for him. Right. So it's a good thing it, right now the way this he's, is starting out. If he's good thing it, to held on to. And he pitches today. And he's, I and about he to pitched, say he pitched today. If and he, he was phenomenal. And it I, was the A's. But it, but this was yes, it was the A's, and they are the Durham Bulls. But his stuff played <laughs> would play against any line. Well, that we go find out today. Well, yeah. his stuff that day was electric. That was it. Listen, we all the A's are not a major league team. They're they're. they're 
I mean, they're a disgrace. They can't I play think, the field. I said the other day, I think they're <laughs> worse right. this year than they were last I, year. I heard, uh, I was listening to Hammy, uh, which game was it? It was probably, it was, I think it was the Saturday game against Oakland. <laughs> and he says on the broadcast, he goes, well, the Oakland people think the team's going to be a lot better this year. And I'm thinking, oof. Are they, There's no way they believe Are that. they guaranteed to lose 100 or more games? I'll be stunned beyond belief if they don't lose 100 games. Yeah. Stunned. Jeez. And when I was talking yesterday about my guy Joe Boyle, their fifth starter, he yeah. got absolutely annihilated <laughs> last night by Boston. If you, if, I wonder if you combine the A's and the Rockies, if they could avoid losing 100 games. Yeah. With the one team. Yeah. I don't know about that. Yeah. What's their pitching? Both, they, the, neither team has any good pitchers. I didn't know the Yankees was undefeated. So are the Tigers. They're off to a good start. So yeah. the Tigers is undefeated? And the Pirates. Yeah. Anybody else? Or is it just those three teams? Dang, Jason looked like a dang wizard right now. Oh, there's a long way to go. I know they got a long way to but go. I, but I, I, I kept saying Gavin it. Williams? I do like that? the Tigers. You guys mentioned Gavin Williams. Uh, Andre not reported. He threw a bullpen. 15 pitches felt great. Quote, he's close to going out on a rehab assignment. Okay. So. What was his uh, So maybe two weeks. 15 pitches. What was his injury? Elbow, elbow. elbow. On a, during a workout. So yeah. he would probably need three rehab starts if yeah. they want to start that process now. So 15 I days. I think last week, April. Probably. Two weeks. Two weeks. I think two weeks. Three rehab. Well, I mean, three, only do four. 15 yeah. pitches. He would have to start the rehab assignment like today. <coughs> back in two weeks. So you, it's probably three weeks. Probably, probably yeah. I mean, that, yeah, end that, of April. that would be good. If you got him back before the end of April, yeah. that was, would be a positive. Who's the, la- who's the last Guardian slash Indian to throw a no-hitter? Len, Len Barker. Barker. Perfect game. 1981. I've been saying 1982 for two weeks. So the dude last game. night did something that we ain't did since 81? Yeah, that was Ronel Blanco, for those who didn't – I was watching the end of the game. The Astros. Of the Astros. This guy's a journeyman 30-year-old. I caught the last out. Yeah. I, put, it. I, got I watched it the last two innings. the last out. Um, and by the way, he walked the first batter of the game, walked George Springer of the Blue – and the Blue Jays have a good lineup. They are a very good lineup. He yeah. walked George Springer. He then retired 26 in a row – then he walked George Springer again. And then he got the last out. I'd walk George Springer too if I was him. He had th- he only threw like 105 strategy. pitches for a no hitter. He know he know not to pitch to who yeah. not to pitch so, to. So Bull, you were yeah. not here yesterday. Yeah. And we talked about the Guardians opening weekend. Now, if you missed the Ultimate Guardians show, make sure you check it out. It's a great second episode yesterday. But give us your overall thoughts on what we've seen through five games for the Guardians. Now they've got a whole. Cycle through the rotation, for lack of a better word. Yeah. They're three and two. Hit the ball hard yesterday. Got some unlucky <coughs> uh, bat uh, dip. They but, got, but they also got lucky when the ball bounced off Julio Rodriguez's glove for a home run for Tyler Freeman. Yeah. It goes both ways. I like yeah. Freeman. I like we'll Freeman. Talk well, Freeman. We'll talk Freeman one sec. But, Bo, okay. you weren't here yesterday. So, what were your overall he, thoughts? So, the first my five thoughts games right now are that, it, again, it's early, and they haven't yet faced a good pitcher because Hancock's the worst pitcher on the Mariners. And the next two days will be very interesting because you're facing two excellent pitchers the next two days in Seattle. But it's, a, it's, it's exciting and a very positive step that a lot of the young hitters are off to good starts, including Tyler Freeman, who, mm-hmm. who Jason mentioned. Brian Rocchio's off to a good start. It's great to see. Even David Fry, who I'm, I don't know why he's been in the lineup twice, but he, he's come through, so I guess that's why he's been in the lineup. So it's been a very positive start. I'm a little frustrated that Bo Naylor sat two of the first four games. Zach is, you know, telling me he's he'll be playing the majority of the time. He just wanted to Lost the hedges, kind of baby. work him in slowly a little bit. But the fact that they've hit some home runs, I think they got four in five games, which for them is pretty good. Um, and, you know, you got, I think, nine guys with stolen bases at this point. They're a very athletic team, and you've seen some good things from the offense. Uh, and 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 I'm, you know, is that sustainable? I mean, we're one six, uh, one uh, what thirty second of the season at this point, so got a long way to go. And again, you haven't faced any good pitchers yet, so I don't know. But the offense getting off to a positive start is good. If they had started zero and five, and the offense was terrible, we'd be killing them right now. So while I don't want to go crazy, yeah. it is positive that the offense has gotten off to a good start. And uh, I'm not – the only pitcher I'm worried about really is McKenzie. And Before anyone else the, chimes in, I just want everyone to know Bull lied to you. Only eight players have stolen a base, not nine. So oh, sorry. Please be <laughs> better. That's right. Josh Naylor tried to steal <laughs> a base, be but he got caught. 
So I'm just saying, be better. Anyway, that's how I feel about it right now. I really like Rokio short so far. Yeah, and it's it feels like I, I said a couple years ago it, it was supposed to be Gabby Arias. Like he was supposed no. to be the short. Now it's Rokio. Now it's Rokio. Yeah. Like they tried with Arias. They yeah. tried and they yeah. tried and they tried, and he basically had the second half last year after they moved on from. Uh, Rosario to yeah. give him that spot, and oh, he just maybe. couldn't grab hold of it. So now they're moving on to Rokio, and and Brian's off to a good start. Like he looks comfortable at the plate. He doesn't look overwhelmed. I really like Tyler Freeman in center. Like this is working. This is great. So far, so good. He's a guy that looks like he can just. He's going to bat 280 every year of his life. Like he's just. He's not going to hit 25 home runs, but he's a solid major league player. Uh, I think the co- the hopeful comp maybe uh, is maybe an Andrew Benatendi type player. I take that. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, if he becomes Andrew, a little Benatendi, bit of speed, a little bit of speed. Hit two eighty. Hit 13, 15 homers. Yeah, yeah. Drive in seventy. Yeah, you take that in center yeah. field. You take yes, that. Yes. Now, if they're going to really be competitive in the long run, they're still going to need to get a bat. Whether that's replacing Loriano and right, whether it's you know, ends up being Kyle Manzardo as the first baseman with Naylor at the age right. or whatever. Uh, Naylor at first base is just... It's not good. It's not good. No. He, and, he's missed a couple balls yeah. now that And even Jose, had. by the way, that line drive went right yeah. off his glove. I don't, yeah. It was so weird to yeah. see him make that miss. I'm excited to see Manzardo come up in a couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think at some point, Esteban Florial is not, doesn't look like he's part of their plan. No. And part of that is because Freeman is doing such a great yeah. job in center. Eventually, yeah. I think you'll see them DFA Florial. And maybe if DeLauder's ready, go get DeLauder. Yeah. Give him a shot in right field. But it, it felt – and I, we, I, we said this during the offseason. Everything went their way two years ago. Everything went against them last year. Yeah. I don't believe – I never felt like it was that far from flipping back. They just needed a couple of answers in a couple of spots. And so far, it's very early, but so far, if Rokio works at short and Freeman works at center, those are the answers that you were looking for, that right. you needed. Especially when Manzarda will be up, and he seemed, at least going into the season, like a, a safer bet than either of those guys. Yes, yes. So, uh, that's a good way to put it. He's a safer right, bet than safer, those guys. It doesn't mean he's going to pan out, but right. it, it, it feels positive right now. Go ahead, Tyvis. Two things. Yeah. One, I was. Did Stephen Kwan hit a home run? He did. He did. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's very impressive because yeah. uh, he's great at contact, but home run hitter he was not. But we did say at the beginning of this year that he was probably going to take more chances. So it's nice to see that that's paying off. And the second thing, I was watching the game uh, maybe a couple of days ago. Jose batting in the two spot. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I know. I was looking like uh, James worked up about that. Too. I was I like, no wait problem. a minute. He's at the. I thought he was been at the four like this entire career. Why is he at the I two think spot? Against right-handers, he'll probably bat third. Okay. Against lefties, you might see him in the two spot. It's something that votes playing around yeah. with. He talked about it when I was out there. He talked about it during spring training that Hosey's comfortable with it. He likes the idea. Yeah. I joked with him. Will you bat him lead off like the Yankees bat Judge lead off? <laughs> what about batting him lead off? And he said, We're not going that far. Yeah. Uh, but, but I like it. It's more at bats, and you know, with right now Rokio's batting ninth, so you got a guy who's hitting. Yeah. And you know, after the first time through, well, Rokio may be on base, same as Quan. So. Well, I said yesterday with Jay, yeah. I kind of like, and again, we're very early on this. Yeah. <coughs> I kind of like Freeman as a as a two hitter. I like the barrel control that he's got. I think there's a lot of hit and run possibilities with Quan uh, opening up the right side of the field. Tyler can spray it through the right side. He looks like a prototypical number two hitter to me, Tyler yeah. Freeman. And Jimenez can bat up there too. And I think a lot of people wanted Jimenez up there previously because they just didn't have a lot of options that looked like they were an ideal number two hitter. I think Freeman, because I, Hemi's got more power than Freeman does. So I kind of like Freeman in the two spot. And then you sort of get into what little power you have with yeah. Jose and, and some of the other guys, three, four, five. Can I ask five. a question on that real quick? Yeah. If you do go Quan and then Jimenez, one, two? Yeah. Some managers make a bigger deal of this than others. Some don't care at all, but they're both lefties back-to-back. Back. Do you like staggering lefty-righty in that one-two spot or just get your two best hitters? Or, obviously, Jose's your best <coughs> hitter, but two of your better hitters in that spot. I don't spot. really care, but I don't care. It does make you vulnerable to late-inning matchups to a team bringing in a lefty out of the bullpen to face your, you know, that part of the lineup. But if it's your best hitters, then Yeah, they should be able to hit hitters. lefties. Your best yeah. hitters can hit lefties. And the, the Guardians is just a lefty – Prominent team, yeah. So yeah. Okay. now but there, got, are, there are managers who do yeah. like to stagger right, left, right, left, right. Yeah. And plus the the rule of you have to face what is the rule? The new rule that you have three to batters. face three batters. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. I don't do know. you know when I, when I played that I had that problem? 
I struggled with left hand pitchers. Do you hit lefty? I could not. No, I heck, I wasn't no switch hitter. I hit. I just couldn't. Well, how hit. did I know you're a right hand hitter? <laughs> Probably just because you didn't. Why see would it. you not know that? Why would I know that? He's you, a lefty. You watch me. You watch I, my tape. I am a left. I but I can't even remember. <laughs> you off watch my, my head. tape. I'm a lefty thrower, but a righty hitter. Really? Oh, I thought it was a reverse. No, nope. that's weird. Oh, did that's you? Or, did you? Ever, you ain't never tried to switch hit. Uh, when I played little league, I would occasionally get up left-handed to bunt once or one couple times. I, I and my bunt left-handed. When I, I played for some odd reason, it was something about a left-hand pitcher that just. And it's not like it's not like his stuff was good. It was yeah. like a mental thing. But uh-huh. but I, for the cha- we was to get to the championship. It was me versus him. Two outs. Got a guy on third. I had to hit him in. If I struck out, we lost. <laughs> Bat on the ball. You know what I do. Bring him in. We to the championship where your boy won the championship in Little League. So, Damn. there you go. That's the story. <laughs> the Cucumbus. His name was Silk. That was the pitcher's name. Silk. Silk? He did this wheel, this high kick before he the pitched. The Valenzuela Th- kick. Threw me Why? off every time. I was like, man, this dude crazy. Put his eyes up to the air. Uh, by the way, I, after I complained about Stephen Vogt's opening day lineup, I was like, okay, let me let him be with the lineups. Let him find his way. It was just hedge, hedgy you didn't like. No, there was other things I didn't <laughs> also. But but my biggest beef so far with Vogt is Sunday's game, the Guardians had first and third, nobody <coughs> out in ninth innings. Tie game, the one game they lost to Oakland. First and third, nobody out top of the ninth. Gabriel Arias at the plate. And Bo Naylor at third base. And Gabriel Arias tries to bunt. I don't know if it was supposed to be a suicide squeeze. Probably more of what's called a safety squeeze. The difference is, on a suicide squeeze, the second the pitcher throws the ball, if you're the runner at third, you got to go. On a safety squeeze, you wait till the batter puts the ball in play. All right? Now, I just assumed Arias did that on his own, which I thought was extremely stupid. After the game, Stephen Vogt said that was his call. Now, Zach Meisel said to me yesterday, well, maybe it was Arias and he's covering for him. Mm-hmm. I don't know that for sure. If Steven Vogt called for a squeeze in that situation, that is terrible. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. Yeah, that's terrible. I you said, can't be I bunting in that situation. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I didn't yeah. love it with Arias at the plate. But also... Well, but you have Quan on deck. Yeah, I know. But also, like, it's April. You're a new manager. Let's see what these guys can do. It's kind of yeah. how I look at it. They can't bunt. We know these guys. You can't should bunt. be able to bunt. <laughs> you should be able to bunt. You're a major leader. Jason, the guy can't. Guys can't bunt anymore. <clears throat> Most guys me. can't bunt. We talked huh. about yes. We talked yeah. about yesterday. It used to be the first few minutes of batting practice. Everybody worked on no, bunting. Nobody works on bunting. Wait a minute. What and day? What game was? Because I I remember watching the Sunday. game where somebody bunted it, but he got on base though. Well, Stephen Kwan. No, I don't think it was Kwan. Well, I don't I don't remember, but somebody yeah, been bunting a lot. But somebody I bunted it. I got first and, and third, it. nobody out, and I got Kwan on deck who is likely, at the very least, going to put, put the ball, ball in play. play and get you the run home. Like, don't mess with that. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't get it. And it, you, you have a guy who's had, I think, one sacrifice bunt in his career, Gabriel Arias. You have a base runner at third who's not an experienced base runner, doesn't have big-time speed. Yeah. I'll blame Bo Naylor like he was in a tricky spot. And Arias, if he's going to bunt, got to get the bunt down. Yeah. Like he, he bunted and missed. Yeah. But oh, that's, no, this, that, if, that wasn't the bun. I said. If folks <laughs> made that call, that, that's terrible. He's got to he's got to learn from that. Mikey. Yeah. Last thoughts on the pitching matchup tonight: Shane Bieber, Luis Castillo, it's, two of the best arms in the yeah, league. Yeah, that's a, that's an awesome. That's fun. Uh, Castillo didn't pitch well in his first start, but we know this guy's a clutch performer. Uh, Top five pitcher in the American League this year, Luis. Yeah, Castillo. this is the first real test for the Guardians lineup. 